Well, it's been one month since Hurricane Maria devastated Puerto Rico, yet today much of the island still remains without power. Yeah, this afternoon the Army Corps of Engineers announced its timeline for getting power fully restored. Fox News correspondent Caroline Shively has the latest. Nearly 80% of Puerto Rico is still without power, and today we learned it could take a long time for the rest of the island to be restored. I certainly hope that I'm wrong and that we can go an awful lot faster, but what I don't think it is smart to do is to give false hope. The head of the Army Corps of Engineers warning it could take up to a year before Puerto Rico is fully restored with power. The island needs tens of thousands of power line poles built and a power grid rebuilt and restored. This is a massive logistics uh, challenge. In a meeting this week with Puerto Rico's governor, the president said his administration deserves a 10 for its hurricane response, conceding the destruction of the island's power grid remains a challenge. You can't really bring electric back until you rebuild a power plant. On Monday, the Senate is set to vote on a multi-billion dollar bill to bring more aid to areas impacted by disaster. Some say the bill doesn't go far enough. I have serious concerns that the current disaster relief package currently being considered by Congress falls far short of The Army Corps of Engineers says it plans to restore power to nearly 50 percent of the island by December and will continue working through next year to restore power to code. The bigger question is what's the long-term plan for Puerto Rico? None of the funding approved for Puerto Rico so far has been offset with cuts or revenue increases, meaning it will be added to the uh, annual budget deficit and the total national debt.